everyone, it's Ryan with Yacht World here with GB Marine Group and Rob Clark on board a global debut of a very special yacht. You want to tell everybody what we're looking at? It is, yes. Thanks, Ryan. Welcome. Thank and you. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the Grand Banks flagship, the 85, Grand Banks 85, debuting here at the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Very excited to launch it. I've got a lot to show you. Awesome. I know we wanted to start with the crew quarters because that's sort of a notable feature of this boat, right? It is, yeah. Uh, Mark Richards, the CEO and the chief designer, put a lot of effort into making sure the crew quarters was something that crew would be delighted to spend time in. Yep. Happy crew, happy owner. Yeah. So let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's take a look. Cool. So Ryan, what we have here are the crew quarters. As you can see with the level of fit out, it matches the rest of the boat. Yeah. Uh, and that's an important feature to be comfortable for the crew. We have two big bunks and their own kitchen, dedicated kitchen, so they don't have to use the galley upstairs, uh, and then a nice comfortable sitting area. So Yeah, this is very nice. It's a rarity on a boat of this size to see this level fit and finish in the crew quarters and also just the amenities. I mean, you've got, what is this, nice like Corian yes, countertops here? Yes, it is. Yep. Very cool. And then you got a washer dryer. And the two entrances, so one is, is through the garage to the That's correct. aft Back platform to the there. Platform, yep. and then went up to the salon upstairs. Cool. Let's head up to the main salon, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So Ryan, near here we have the outside salon area. Yeah. Huge space, capable of seating 10, entertaining 20 easily. Yeah. Uh, nice, open, airy space, which this window then, of course, drops down and you can connect into the internal salon space, lounge room, tub chairs, and a separate dining area. Really opens up your main salon to the whole kind of upper aft deck here, and then you can go downstairs on either side to, your, to access the water. There. That's right, yeah. yep. So there's a lot of access for the crew coming up from the swim platform at the back and straight through into the open area inside, which you'll find is cavernous, it's huge. Also, I just wanted to mention, it's all teak wood, really nice finish, and even the dark wood is, is yeah, kind of that Japanese That's wood. right, it's teak, but it's a Japanese stain. Yeah. Which gives it a bit of a different flavor to many boats of these, these types. Very nice. Yeah, let's head on into the main salon. Yeah. So Ryan, here we are in the main salon yeah. with the dining table. Uh, as you can feel, it's big, it's cavernous, it's tall and flooded with light, natural light, which is a really nice space. Yeah, lots of headroom. Cavernous is the word, it's giant, you know? Yeah. This is a, what is the beam on the boat? The beam's 22 foot, yep. so inside here's about 19 and a half. Yep, you give you nice yeah. passageways on the outside. Yeah, too. So. absolutely, undercover. Yeah, and then you got a separate dining area here, which is nice, so that's your formal kind of dining That's right, yeah. yeah. So now we have the galley. Yeah. Full-size galley, as you'd expect, with dishwashers, freezers, fridges, microwaves, ovens, cooktops. But one of the really unique things about this galley is that whilst you're cooking, if you need to maneuver the boat, oh, nice. you have full controls of the boat That's right awesome. here. That's awesome. And you can dock, you can move the whole boat just from this joystick and all the other controls. I think one really nice thing about this galley that you don't see, first of all, is the visibility in the air coming through. And then yeah. also you're kind of separate, right, from the right. dining area. That's so right. that's, that's kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, it's honestly like a galley in a home, you know? It, it is. Nice. Where should we head to next? Well, if we can go down, we'll show you the major state rooms. Yeah. Okay. And VIP guest rooms. Let's check it out. Now we have a mezzanine level with a day head in Very here nice. and a shower. Okay. And then further down, the major. So Ryan, here's the master stateroom. Okay. And as I mentioned to you, this can be configured in full beam okay. uh, configuration with a ensuite and walk-in robe behind the bulkhead. But the owners chose to do this a little differently. So you have a full size uh, ensuite here with natural light coming in and flooding across. But of course, there's something unique in this that you can't see at the moment. The owner loves her music, particularly the piano. Wow, no so way. <laughs> we've built in a full electric keyboard with pedals that come out That's of the awesome. joinery and just another nice little custom treatment that we like to pride ourselves at Grand Banks. Where should we head to next? I want to show you the services room. All right. So Ryan, down here we have the services room, which as I mentioned, a lot of this in other boats would be in the engine room. Right. We've brought it all forward so you have your water, 
uh, functionality, your air conditioning, your inverters. You can get access to the bow and the bow thruster. Uh, it keeps everything low in the boat, so it helps the centre of gravity. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's even finished off with nice teak yeah. flooring. Fully gel coated teak flooring, uh, exceptionally clean. I love to see these spaces when they're new. Yeah. <laughs> but this is very nice. And also, I think, you know, a notable feature of this is a lot of times when this stuff is in the engine room, it's very hot. Yes, in there, indeed. So it's probably not as it hot. It's a lot cooler. Batteries are in this area as well, so the whole battery management system, everything's easily accessible, as you can see. Yeah. And I think quite unique uh, for boats of this size. Very, very nice. Cool. Well, where should we head next? Let's go up top. Okay, do it. Up here, Ryan, we have the upper deck, which is in the Sky Lounge format. Yeah. Uh, it can come in a Sky Bridge, so open, totally. But the owners wanted another area that they could be enclosed and in comfort and lots of entertainment space. Yeah. This is the primary helm station uh, with all the functionality you would expect in a yacht of this nature. Great visibility. Yeah. We can open windows on this side. You can see the open window there. And then, of course, out in the aft, accessing the entertainment deck out the back is open as well. Very nice. Yeah, I know viewers can't feel the awesome cross breeze that we have here coming in, but uh, Sky Lounge is an apt name, man. It feels like a Sky Lounge. Yeah. Well, you got the roof open. Yeah, this open sunroof. Yeah. Beautiful. You can sit in the, in the sun while you're driving. You can. Too. That's amazing. You can. So a bit about the specs on the boat while we're at the helm. It, this boat is equipped with the twin IPS 1350s. Yes, that's correct. And you know, we could have direct shaft drives as well. Uh, and the performance of this boat is really what uh, differentiates it from most other boats in its class. Um, the coming down from Stewart the other day, we're burning 57 gallons at 20 knots. So that gives you a range of a thousand miles. Wow. Uh, which is sensational. And if you're happy to cruise at 10 knots, you go 3,000 miles. Yeah. So one of the, the beautiful things about the construction techniques, the hull design, the form, I mentioned to you about V-Warp technology that we've built into this boat. Uh, it is the most fuel efficient and high performing boat in its class. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, I mean, so that makes it a true long distance cruiser, right? Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. And then the, the, the standard options are the IPS, but you can go up for the man V8. No, 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 they're both options. Oh, they're uh, both options. It's just option, up, right? up to okay. the owner as to what they choose. And then I guess if you go with the bigger engines, you might even bump up that top speed, but. You know, if you wanted to, I guess. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But you know, top speed, 27 knots in an 85 footer is pretty good. It is impressive when yeah. you're only burning, you know, half the fuel of the com competition. Absolutely, beautiful space. So, where should we head to next? I think we should go to the bow, Ryan. Absolutely. So, Ryan, here we are at the bow. Um, you've now seen and experienced the beautiful flagship, the GB85. Yeah. Something the company's very proud of and we think from the interest that we're getting at the boat show will be a great success for us. Absolutely. This is the biggest boat Grand Banks has ever built. It certainly is. Wow. It certainly is. Well, it's an impressive vessel. Thank you very much for having us. Pleasure, Ryan. All right. This is Ryan with Yacht World. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.